Hello there. You're Dr. Gazal's assistant, but who are you? Tilda. I'm a doctor around here. We have a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. So I was just consulting with the assistant here. He doesn't look happy. Is he injured? Something is wrong, that's for sure. We just found him. He's ever so weak. Aw, oh, poor thing. But he'll be alright, with a vet and a doctor looking after him. Right. This clever vet was just telling me about an effective medicine. That should help. I'm still just a trainee. Dr. Gazal is the clever one. I just run errands. But I'm going to help this little one get better. He'll stay with me for the first little while. Not that I know much about dogs. I usually treat people, obviously. All I need to do is have him drink the assistant's medicine. I can handle that. Good news for the dog. I'm sure he'll get better soon. Uh, he would, except... Except... Well, we're out of ingredients. To make the medicine. Yeah, that's the problem, see? I could collect the ingredients for you. Yes, you could. I mean, it's not like you'd have to go to the ends of the world to find them, or anything like that. The assistant can give you a list of what we need. This girl? She's actually more clever than she lets on. Oh no, I'm not. I still hardly know anything at all. But I do know how to help the dog. He just needs the right medicine and he'll be fine. Okay then, tell me what you need. And I should give these to Tilda, right? Yes, please. Oh, thank you so much for helping out. Well, I've got to run. Dr. Gazal will be expecting me back at Canopus Farms. Thank you so much. All right, little dog. It's time to drink your medicine. This will fix you up. Gosh, will you look at that? This stuff works fast. Claudia will be so pleased. Claudia? Who's that? Who's that? Why, Dr. Gazal's assistant, of course. You met her earlier. Oh, wait. You know her as 13, is that right? Ugh, that Dr. Gazal. I don't know why he can't be bothered to learn people's names. Claudia is a wonderful assistant. Well, quite good anyway, and she deserves more respect. And when she's not sure about something, she always checks with the other assistant. Well, anyway, the dog is safe and sound. If you happen to run into Claudia again, let her know for me, would you? Sure. Oh, and here. I've got some leftover medicine. You can have it. Maybe it'll come in handy. Hey, Light. I've got some good news from Tilda. That dog she found is doing much better. He is? Well, that's great! The medicine you prescribed was exactly what he needed. You're a fine vet, Claudia. You know my name? And you remembered it? Oh, this is so embarrassing. Anyway, I appreciate the praise, but I don't know anywhere near as much as Seven does, and practically the only thing Dr. Gazal says to me is, Hey, Thirteen. Hmm, I wonder why he still won't call you by your proper names. Oh, he says it's because he can't be troubled to learn them. But really, I think it's because he doesn't want to get too close to us. He's cared for a lot of people and animals over the years, 
and most of them have gone one way or another. He must be so tired of losing people he's grown fond of. Yeah, it's hard to say goodbye to people you love. To keep everyone at a distance is one way to protect yourself. That said, in my case, I think it really is because he can't remember my name. I'm still so hopeless at everything, and I've still got so much to learn. A number is all I deserve. No, that's not true. Hey, 13, get over here. <sighs> See what I mean? Are you deaf? Come over here, Claudia. I need your advice. What? Go on. C coming!